DFG here, Gideon's Flight. As you can see, I'm not coming to you from the graveyard uh, today. Uh, I will be later on today. But I have a quick little, um, I have some information, a little brief message that I wanted to share uh, with everyone. Uh, and this is um, a message, some of you guys are familiar with it. And it's just information, FYI, just so that you know. Uh, all of us, or many of us, have heard the story of the, of the so-called um, Willie Lynch story. Now, if you know anything about the Willie Lynch story, you know that story is based upon this supposedly um, slave catcher back in the 1700s who um, approached a bunch of uh, white uh, slave owners and pretty much uh, shared with them his theory around how to keep uh, their slaves, their blacks, uh, um, under control to make sure that they stayed uh, domesticated. And the story kind of goes like he, like this, it's pretty much, he said, you separate them by race, not race, but, but color. Lighter skin dogs, lighter skins, the lighter skin uh, blacks, so-called blacks, uh, separate them from the darker skin blacks. Uh, you would take, and you would also take and separate you know, the uh, young from the old, the uh, those who are talented from those who were not talented, and pretty much uh, create a hierarchy uh, inside of their, the, the slave culture, where the, the slaves ultimately began to become envious and jealous of one another, and therefore they would begin to fight one another, uh, and he pretty much felt, at least according to him, according to how the story goes, that if you could create that type of um, animosity, hostility within the social um, groups, then you would not only be able to keep them enslaved, you know, for 50 or 100 years, but you would be able to keep them enslaved for a thousand years because after all, a house divided cannot stand. And so this story has been circulated probably for the last 50 years uh, only to, um, be identified, unfortunately, for those who want to use the Willie Lynch story as justification why blacks or so-called black people uh, don't get along or why so-called black people don't support one another. Unfortunately for you, it's a hoax. Yes, it's a hoax. Look it up. Uh, and this, this hoax started around by 1970. Uh, this black librarian, I think she was a librarian, uh, supposedly got this information from uh, some magazine, uh, some editor of, of, of a magazine, and then once they went in and looked deeper into the story, uh, it became obvious, you know, this is most recent, this, this is history that's just been revealed, or truth, not history, but truth that's been revealed. When they actually went back to look at the origins of the so-called article, no one could produce the, the, the original article from the 1700s. And not only could they not uh, produce the actual article, there were uh, wording inside of that article that did not exist as to, at that particular time. And what I mean by that, if you're familiar with, you know, words and, and dictionary and how, how the dictionary and, and new words are added all the time, well, that, that, that's, that process works also in reverse. And so if you go back and you look uh, 200 years ago, you may find that they weren't using words like internet. They weren't using words like computer. They weren't using words like satellite. You know, they weren't using words like astronaut, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So there were words in the actual Willie Lynch letter that did not exist at that particular time. And so that, along with the fact they could not produce the original document, then it's been proven to be a hoax. Now, I share that with you so that you can kind of stop that nonsense around why, you know, so-called black people, people of color, Native Americans, uh, why they don't get along. They don't get along for, for broader reasons than that, more complicated, sophisticated reasons than some white guy who comes up with some uh, great uh, social, uh, econ yeah, I guess social economic philosophy around how to, you know, read the minds and, you know, uh, and be able to influence so-called, you know, blacks, niggers, whatever word they were using back at that time. You know, and again, and when you repeat this lie, you, what you're really doing again is you're you're um, you're encouraging and you're re you you are uh, re uh, what's the word I want to use establishing the, the the lie that somehow or another black men black women need white men and white women to analyze them to tell them what's 
innately wrong with them as a people. And you need to be thinking about that. You need to take, you know, give that strong, you know, consideration. You follow me? At what point and what time are you going to stop allowing, you know, Europeans to come in and dictate to you how you feel about yourself or how you feel about your kind? You know, that, that, is, that, that, is, that is the ultimate disrespect, the ultimate insult to any so-called people or civilization, okay? So, now I want to move on just a little bit beyond Willie Lynch and the Willie Lynch story. You know, there was a, a situation that happened some years back, Dr. France, Dr. Francis uh, Cress Wesling, uh, the doctor and fine psychologist, um, sociologist, uh, brought it to our attention that uh, there was uh, a symposium being held where they were talking about racial issues and how do you solve racial issues. And uh, they had blacks and whites, you know, all come together, you know, liberal in their thinking and wanting to figure out how do they deal with the, you know, the, the race problem. And one of the things that a young black man said in the uh, symposium uh, he said, well, you know, if everybody just embraced Christianity and, and followed the, um, you know, the, the laws and the rules of, of Christianity, you know, then we could get, you know, beyond, you know, racism. And it's interesting that an older white female who was a part of the group, she said, young man, she told this to the young black man. Now, when they say young, he was, you know, he was in his 20s. She said, young man, we gave you Christianity. And so when you're looking at Willie Lynch and how Willie Lynch was supposedly used, and here's how I make this connection, maybe a reach, but this is how I'm making the connection. Yes, Willie Lynch, theoretically, if, if that was true, could have some, some, would share some insight on what's going on as far as the divided house inside of the so-called black community. But Christianity, more than any letter that was written by anybody, in the history of mankind has done more damage inside of the black community by teaching our so-called black community by teaching them to wait on a white Jesus a white God using their word to come out of the sky and solve all of their problems for them and in the meantime suffer and suffer peacefully turn the other cheek you know that story you follow me slaves obey your masters you know that story you read it so the real really Lynch, Willie Lynch story is really Christianity, you know, in reverse. Or uh, maybe I should say the Willie Lynch story is Christianity being told, you know, in reverse. So if you want to pull the cover off of the Willie Lynch story that does not exist, you follow me, then you use Christianity. That's what you're going to see behind that curtain. So when you look over there, don't look for Willie Lynch. Look for Christianity and the religion that was used to domesticate you and your people talking here to so-called people of color, Native Americans who were here long before 14, you know, 92, Turtle Island, our homeland, all right? So just, just some FYI, I hope this information uh, helps to educate, you know, you in terms of our problems or social problems and learning how to get beyond Christian concepts and start getting into native concepts, cultural concepts, how to build, how to construct a community, how to, how to respect the hierarchy inside of those communities, and then how to transfer information, knowledge, skill sets within the community to build a culture and a community. Thank you for listening. Hope you subscribe to the channel. Hope this is helpful. Coming to you from the beautiful park out here in Rhode Island, DFG, Gideon's Flight. Hey, check me out a little bit later on. Uh, I'm going to be doing some conversation around some things that could help uh, build the community. We do a lot of talking about the problems. We're going to talk about solutions a little bit later on. At least I will. Peace. Love you guys. DFG, again, subscribe to the channel. Talk to you later, guys. Bye now.